Good day to you all. My name is Benson Okundi. I'm a partner in Price of Coopers. I lead the firm's government and public sector services. It is my pleasure to launch to you our latest edition of Public Sector and Infrastructure Insight. This edition is deemed Hello Tomorrow, uh, Public Sector and Infrastructure Perspectives. We have carefully selected this theme, which is forward-looking, because we know that globally people have experienced difficulties due to the pandemic. First of all, my deepest condolences to those who have lost families and dear ones due to COVID-19, and sympathies to those that have been affected economically in various ways. When we launched this edition in August last year, at that point in time, the pandemic was still at its very early stages. It was just six months into the pandemic and the future was very uncertain. Even as at now, the future is still uncertain. Almost one year since the pandemic started. Within the one year period, we have learned lessons. Government have learned lessons. Businesses have learned lessons. Individuals have learned lessons on how to go about it. And therefore, our insight looks into some of the key things that are futuristic that the government need to take into account to be able to navigate the pandemic and more importantly to be able to serve its citizens effectively. One, technology has proved to be extremely important. The delivery of services, the delivery of goods, for example, in um, the food industry uh, when there's lockdown, the delivery of goods and services, technology has proved to be very, very useful. The government that is futuristic must therefore continuously invest in technology and bring in platform that makes it easier for its citizens to use that technology for efficient and effective delivery of services. At the same time, we do recognize that in this part of the world, in Africa and East Africa in particular, the majority of our population is young. We have a very big youth population that has been affected significantly due to the pandemic, largely because of unemployment situation. The government of the future needs to look into the youth with the objective of tapping into the talent that this youth has, creating a positive environment uh, for the youth to be able to be innovative and creative and to be able to run their businesses effectively. That is the only way out that uh, can be able to address the, the situation, unemployment situation that our youth is experiencing. A very significant factor that we must not uh, forget is just the environmental degradation or the climate change. There has been significant uh, degradation uh, to the environment caused by the climate change. It is very important the government get together to address this matter. Environmental, social and governance issues need to be given priority by the government that takes care of its citizens to ensure that matters that affect uh, the environment, matters that, are, that affect uh, the continent are actually addressed from that perspective. Because if we don't address, it's another pandemic that's actually not just in the waiting, but it's already happening. I therefore welcome you to this edition of our public sector and infrastructure insight. As much as the future looks bleak, and there's a lot of uncertainty, we believe that uh, there is a silver lining out of the lessons that, that we have learned. Welcome to the edition, enjoy the reading, and please reach out to me or any of my colleagues that are mentioned in the publication should you require clarification or uh, further inquiry on any of the matters contained in there. Welcome once again.